Welcome to our tutorial video on the Report Builder in SAM.gov's Ad Hoc Contract Data Reports. If you are not sure whether you need ad hoc reports, please see our introductory video on ad hoc reports. If you have already watched our video on building a basic ad hoc report, this video shows you how to build that same report in the Report Builder which is a wizard-like interface where you answer prompts to build your reports instead of starting from scratch. But don't worry if you have not watched the other video yet. You can begin here. Our full tutorial video series focuses on the blank report for developing ad hoc reports. This video will show you how to do the same things using the Report Builder. We recommend the Report Builder, especially for those with limited reporting experience, as well as for anyone who is just more comfortable with the interface. Try both the Blank Report and Report Builder to see which one you like better. In this video, we will create a report for the use case of pulling PIDs that meet specified criteria, and in doing so, we will cover the reporting interface, filtering, and adding data to our report. For this report, let's say that we have received the following request. We would like to see all base PIDs where the modification number is zero for four vendor DUNS numbers that have a base and all options value or total contract value between $50,000 and $250,000. We want this information for fiscal years 2011 through 2016. Let's get started. We will begin on the SAM.gov homepage. Before beginning, ensure that you are logged in to your SAM.gov account because this is required in order to access the ad hoc reporting capabilities. Once we have logged in, we are ready to get started. We get to the tool for ad hoc analysis and reporting by clicking Data Bank located in the header menu. Under Show Reports for, make sure Contract Data is selected, and under Report Type, select Ad Hoc. Now select Award IDV Information Report. After making the selection, you'll see that we are now in the reporting platform. By making the Award IDV Information Report selection, we were brought to the My Reports folder. This is the location where all personal reports are saved. The reports here are unique to each user profile. To begin our report building, we'll select the Create button to create a new report. Select New Report, Report Builder. Now, we see a series of report prompts. A prompt asks the end user a question at runtime to pre-filter the data that we will be examining. We know that we want data for fiscal years 2011 through 2016. To get that, we'll answer our date signed prompts by inputting 10-1-2010 as the start date in section one and 9-30 2016 as the end date in Section 2. Notice the navigation on the left that will show you all the sections of the report prompts. We can use that navigation to click through the sections or just scroll. The dates in Section 3 and 4 can be used instead of or in addition to the dates in Sections 1 and 2. Remember, the maximum range of time that can be returned in a report is 12 years. In Section 5, we are asked for our report attributes. We want to see the PID, modification number, and vendor DUNS numbers. We can select these by navigating through the folder shown. For example, PID and modification number are in the Contract Identification folder. Select the item and use the right pointing arrow to add that attribute to your report, or just double click it. We can also search the attributes. For example, if we go back up to the full list of folders and search for DUNS, we will find the vendor DUNS number. In 
In Section 6, we add our metrics to the report. For this report, we are interested in the base and all options value. Again, either select and double-click or use the arrow to add the metric to the report. Once we've added the necessary attributes and metrics to the report to display the information we want to see, the next step is to filter the report based on the specified criteria in our original request. Remember that we want to see all base PIDs where the modification number is zero, with a base and all options value between $50,000 and $250,000. We also want to limit the data to four vendor DUNS numbers. Let's try it. To filter our report, we will start in Section 7, called Qualify on any attribute. To add an attribute as a means of filtering, we will navigate through the groups of attributes by clicking on the arrows to the left of the groups. We will open Contract Identification to find the modification number and double-click it to add it to the filter. We will also open Vendor Information and add the Vendor Duns number to the filter. Now that those two attributes are in the filter, we need to specify how to filter with them. First, click on the word Form. ID is your only choice here, so select that. With the modification number, we want to use equals as the operator, and for the value, we want to click on value and enter zero in the box. For the vendor DUNS number, again, we chose ID for form. Instead of equals, however, we want to know whether the DUNS number is in a particular list, so we click on equals and change it to in. And in the values box, we paste our list of DUNS numbers separated by semicolons. Anytime you enter a list of values, use a semicolon to separate them, not a comma. Now we move to section 8, called Metric Qualification, to add the filter on our metric, base and all options value. Click on the metric in the list. Instead of greater than or equal to, Choose between and enter the dollar thresholds, $50,000 and $250,000. Our next step in the Report Builder is to save our report. Notice that the Save button is in the lower left area of the screen. If you keep the report prompted, you can adjust your prompts before running the report. If you uncheck Keep Report Prompted, then you will not be able to edit the reporting criteria. We will leave the box checked and select Save. Now, we will click Run Newly Saved Report. The report prompts come back up, but notice the bottom left button now says Run Report. Click that button to proceed. With that, we've created our first report leveraging the SAM.gov Report Building Tool. Thank you for watching this video on Ad Hoc Contract Data Reports using Report Builder. For more information, please visit the contract data page linked from the SAM.gov homepage. Remember, you can search the Federal Service Desk Knowledge Base for additional videos and frequently asked questions, or get help with technical issues at FSD.gov. To provide GSA feedback about features, functionalities, or the user experience in SAM.gov, click the Feedback button located at the bottom of each page.